So this is the storybook zombie. It was written and created by Kathleen Havelka, Alex Hoffmaster, Taylor Bancroft, and Amalia Barber. Now, this is a toy that we kind of want to gear toward younger kids, either with their parents still reading to them or them just learning how to read. Um, we want it to inspire creativity and imagination. So this is our story. Once upon a time, there was a young zombie named Leo, and he was unlike other zombies in that he could not stand the thought of harming a, a human. So, unlike other zombies, he would not eat brains, and this led him to become very hungry. When his tummy hurt so bad he couldn't stand it any longer, he uh, saw a pizza planet off in the distance, <laughs> and there he found enough food and fun uh, to, to be full. From this point on, he lived a happy life with many adventures and a full tummy. This is our story. Where will you take him next? So here's an overview of our toy. Um, we, uh, we have a voice box underneath the, uh, uh, the book there. Uh, that way when you press it down, he can make a sound and you can remove it and record your own sound and have as much fun as you want with that. So you can change the, the uh, sound that, and uh, audio that you have for each moment of the story that you're creating. And uh, we wanted to make him a cute zombie, so when we t look, uh, designed the face, we wanted to make it enough features that he was still zombie-like in appearance, but could be cute so that little kids could enjoy him as well. And one thing we did with the uh, both the face and the body was we used a datum plane uh, and cut our part in half. That way we could put our mechanism in and then close it back up after all the parts were designed and modeled. All right, next we have the arms. Uh, the large circular part is the part that actually goes inside the shell. Uh, we do have two holes in that um, so that the arms are the same uh, for manufacturing purposes. Uh, the hole um, in the inside of the arm is where the mechanism actually attaches. We also do have a small groove in the arm too, is th and that's where it fits inside the shell and allows it to rotate, but does not allow it to wiggle back and forth. So this is the mechanism we decided to use to actually move the arms. And our original goal was to be able to rotate the ears and have the arms move. Uh, so we designed it just as a four bar linkage. And in Pro-E, it works really, really well. But when you get into the real world with a four bar, with a four, with a four bar linkage that's just designed as a rectangle, it's able to flip on itself once it gets to a certain point. So that's something that we did struggle with. And as you can see, um, the ears did make a flap so that it's easier to rotate those. So we've kind of switched our input to the arms and our output to the ears, so they kind of wiggle. So this is a leg. The top attaches to the body, and there's a groove so um, they won't separate. The legs, we wanted to be able to support the entire zombie, and we were kind of afraid that it was going to flip over. So we put a hole in the bottom so we could attach a pin to it through the book that the zombie stands on. This turned out not to be necessary. He can stand on its own, but he can still stand on the book and look cute. And we also etched Storybook Zombie into the bottom of his boots. All right, next we have a video. Um, as you can see, this is the ideal movement that we are going for. Um, his ears and his arms both do rotate. Uh, we also have another video of the front cutaway, so you can see the mechanism and how that works inside. Um, and then we're going to flip this guy over um, and put him up here so you guys can see it. Um, so as you can see, if you, if you rotate the ears, the arms kind of do move. Um, but you can rotate the arms completely and the ears will move too. Um, and then this is the sound that we have for the zombie so far. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to hear it, but I'll play it anyway. So um, that's what we have uh, for that voice box uh, right now. So if this project were to continue, we would like to make interchangeable parts for the story collaboration. As you can see, our zombie here has a baseball cap on. We would like to have fireman hats and other stories for him to go on that interchange the parts. Um, and this would include clothing and maybe a book line to go with these different stories and caps. Um, we would also like to have the voice box be able to create your own story so the user can do their own little zombie story if they'd like and also put this in the belly of the zombie so it's not just sitting in the book like we have it right now. Um, and we would also, this is a male zombie, we would also like to make a female zombie so they can go on adventures together. And 
um, that's the storybook zombie. Thank you for your time. Thank you.